Hi everyone. This presentation is on publication of dissertation by Dr. T. R. Gurraja Rao, Professor and Head of the Department of Periodentics, AM East Dental College and Hospital Raichur. Publication of dissertation is required in the present day for following reasons. To get credits in their academic pursuits, to scale the ladder of promotion just for the sake of it or to show that they are researchers. Improve your writing skills. Before publishing your dissertation, you must have some experience in writing, especially scientific writing. Write a short review on a journal or on a book. Many online journals now expect people to write electronically and add comments on the journals. So this will be a practice run for you. It is necessary that the student must participate in journal club discussions, critical analysis of the printed articles in reputed journals and learn from other mistakes. This will help the student to understand the style, formatting and quantum of literature and also the length of articles which deserve publication or rejection. In other words, the student should know his limits, merits and demerits whether he qualifies to publish his article or not. Is your dissertation is good enough for publishing? An eminent psychologist from Harvard University, Dr. Daniel Gilbert, PhD, feels that the student should submit their work only if it is outstanding and findings are solid. It should not be for simply gaining experience. Now get to the point. Journal publication requires editing and only relevant points must be incorporated to avoid rejection. One needs to be concise and focusing on writing salient findings to strive for readability. As far as possible, avoid review, references and excess reporting. Discuss and determine authorship. Often students and faculty advisors or guide both contribute significantly to the research so, it is important to determine who will be the first author. The trend of professor or guide to be the first author in India should be distinctly avoided. Pick the journal carefully. To publish a dissertation, one must select the right journal. It is known today that only 6.3% of Indians publish their articles in indexed foreign journals. Look out for special issues or calls for papers. Many journals have some themes for some given topic that might match your research. If so, you can submit abiding by their guidelines in time. You may also present your work in interdepartmental seminars or conferences that will give you a feedback. Why many Indians fail to publish articles in journals of international repute? One reason may be that they are aiming for a wrong journal. It may be outside the area or perhaps a very high ranking journals. So search for a journal which you think people will be interested in. Sometimes if you read a few journals you will be able to learn the style of presentation and writings. Every journal will have a guideline for authors, how you want to set the paper, style of writing references and submitting. If you do not follow the pattern recommended, your dissertation will be rejected. Talk to the editors. If possible, it is better to send a mail with a request to talk to them. They may in turn let you know whether the paper can get the green light or can be reviewed again before sending. Submit the manuscript. Once the journal has been selected to which the student has to submit, one should follow the journal guidelines explicitly. They must list contact information, enclose permission forms for use of copyright submitted, covering letter saying that the present paper is not being considered for submission concurrently in any other journal. Appreciate the feedback. Many a times the paper is rejected by journal or they ask for review and modifications. When resubmitting to a journal after making revision, students should indicate in their covering letter 
how they responded to the reviewer one should resend the article to the same journal rather than sending the same article to another journal in some situation when journal editorial committee may not return the said article with necessary corrections or modifications the reviewer get outraged about the time they spent on going through the article and suggesting the revisions expecting the rejection not necessary that any paper sent will always be accepted one should not be depressed when you have worked so hard remember that it is a competitive market and some papers fall by the wayside you must be realistic and should be strategic ultimately even if the article is rejected the author has gained publishing experience that will be helpful when he submits next time it is a good opportunity to start learning about publishing better late than never learning should start from the womb to the tomb thank you i hope this is helpful for all researchers thank you once again